Hey everyone, uh, my name is Brandon. This is my wife Heidi, Hi. and we pastor the Northwest Campus of Living Word out in Rogers, Minnesota. And Minnesota, actually, uh, you know, we uh, meet at a movie theater, so you know, we got shut down real quick. Uh, <laughs> So we have um, been excited to, to work with Pastor Mac and Lynn and, and honored and just, just blessed to have this opportunity yes. to share our hearts online. And then we'll actually be holding our services um, uh, live as well. We're going to be live streaming them. So mm -hmm. crazy times we're living in, but also exciting to see how God is still moving. And um, I know that's hard to hear sometimes if, if things are really difficult for you. Maybe you've you know, lost your job, or um, maybe somebody is sick in your family. Uh, maybe you haven't been able to see people that you love, and we just we want you to know we feel that, and um, we know it's hard, and that's why we're praying mm -hmm. um, for the church, but yes. also for Living Word and yep. and its members and congregation mm -hmm. and and all the different campuses, St. Paul, Northwest, here in Brooklyn Park, um, but also just keeping an attitude of prayer for anybody out there. You might be watching, you just stumbled on this, maybe you don't even go to church. Just know that our hearts are, are there, connected um, with what you're going through. And we are believing that God mm -hmm. is moving on this land, bringing yes. healing to this land. Yeah. That's where our faith stands. And um, we, we just hope that you'll receive something today that'll bless your heart in this situation. Um, Actually, wanted to title this this segment uh, "Blind as a Bat." Blind as a bat. I want to focus on part of Psalm 91 here. Psalm 91:15. There's a portion that says, "You will find and feel my presence, even in your time of pressure and trouble. Mm -hmm. Find and feel God's presence, even in our times of pressure and." trouble. So how does that relate to being blind as a bat? I'm actually blind as a bat. If I take these off, everything disappears. Heidi becomes a slightly tan blob. <laughs> I can't see anything. I've got crazy bad eyesight. I suppose that's not really a faith statement right there, but I'm blind as a bat. So like when I get done brushing my teeth at night, I don't have my glasses on. Heidi's got the lights off in the bedroom trying to fall asleep and I'm trying to make my way to to like the bed and it's pitch black and pitch black is different when you can't see like because of like glasses than just everybody else's pitch black and if you have glasses or contact you know what I'm talking about it is very I can't just like not see like I can not see so I'm doing like the you know reaching around <laughs> this is like every night I don't know we should figure out something different different bedtime routine but but, but but seriously like darkness is like darkness for me and interestingly enough we kind of joke about this that um that weakness that I have that blindness that I have it's not I'm not blind so but no. that vision issue that I have has made me stronger in other areas so for instance I have like a freakishly good sense of smell like for real freakishly good sense of smell and then also like hearing like I have like create like bat sonar hearing it's really weird like I hear everything <laughs> like I'm the guy who sleeps with like the professional swimmers wax earplugs in so I cannot hear anything but then I still wake up because I hear stuff so it's so it's so weird because I've kind of like just determined that these other senses that I have are heightened to make up for this, this blindness, this lack of, of good vision. Um, so let's relate that to Psalm 9115. You're like, yeah, finally. <laughs> you will find and feel my presence even in your time of pressure and trouble. So pressure and trouble, you could say, are weaknesses. It's a time of weakness when we're we're under pressure or we find ourselves in trouble, kind of like we are right now in our nation and, and in the world. So maybe, mm -hmm. maybe those weaknesses heighten our awareness mm -hmm. to something or someone else. Maybe like our sense of blindness in this time of crisis, we can't see what's coming next. We don't know what's gonna happen next. Maybe our sense of blindness during this crisis is enhancing our ability to hear 
the Lord, to hear better, clearly, what he's saying, what he's speaking, what he desires to see come through this, to hear God's voice and really to feel his presence, just like, you know, okay, so feeling, feeling around the bedroom, after I do that enough times, because I can't see, I know where everything is now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. do, you, do you know what I'm saying? Do you have something to add to this? Or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I can. I, I just think it's so cool how in the middle of Psalm 91, it's, it's all about how he's protecting us and all that stuff, but that there's this point that in trouble and pressure, you will find and feel my presence. So he wants, there's something that is important to his presence. Mm. And when, when we're in the presence of God, everything shifts, yeah, everything right. changes. Uh, his, his, there's, there's revelation, there's wisdom, there's insight, there's new ideas, there's healing right. in his presence. That he's making this point that in, in this protection uh, chapter in Psalms that, that he wants to make a point of his presence. Mm. And That's as good. believers, we carry his presence with us everywhere that we go. Yeah. So like when we know that we've got this presence of God, it, it, we can release that. We can release the peace into the grocery stores. We can release the peace into our neighborhoods, into our cities, into our world. This, this presence that um, we ask the Lord that his manifest presence mm. will come out of us into where we're at and that things will shift, that there will be healing, that there will be deeper yeah. revelations of who he is. Things, things will, um, eyes will be opened to see him for the first time because his presence yeah. um, is here. Yeah, um, that's good. Just that manifest heaven on earth, yeah. heaven on earth, that manifestation. Right, it's like his presence becomes like familiar, more and more yeah. familiar to us as yeah. we, yeah. as we sense. And joy in his presence, mm -hmm. in the midst of something that's pressure and trouble, yeah. Like it's like this greater grace of his presence. Like that's what we ask for is that, you know, his presence would be evident. Yeah, yeah. So that things can change and shift. And yeah, because there's, there's fullness of joy, you know, yeah. in his presence. Yeah. And I think the more we yeah. practice just being aware of his presence, mm -hmm. it becomes second nature. It's, it, like I was saying with the more I've walked from that, 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 walk of death from the bathroom to the bed and it's pitch black it's like i can feel yeah. i can sense when i'm getting close to the bed when i'm getting close to the nightstand i mean yeah there was a million times where i've knocked over the lamp or stepped on a lego or ran into the corner of the nightstand mm -hmm. of course but after uh, after doing it enough times you can just mm -hmm. kind of feel you know what i'm talking about yeah, yeah. like you just kind of like yeah. like the sixth sense you just kind yeah. of feel um where yeah. you're at right yeah. and um, maybe God, as we are sensitive to his presence yeah. in us, as we, as we find and feel his presence, mm -hmm. maybe God can turn what's kind of like a curse into courage for us, yeah. you know, yeah. to not be afraid of mm -hmm. what we might run into. Mm -hmm. um, 2 Corinthians 12, 9 says, mm -hmm. but he answered me, my grace is always more than enough for you, mm -hmm. and my power Listen, my power finds its full expression mm -hmm. through your weakness. Mm. I gotta read that again. My grace is always more than enough for you and my power finds its full expression through what? Like through our weakness, through our blindness. Yeah. And then it goes on to say, so I, I will celebrate, yeah. we will celebrate yeah. our weaknesses. Mm -hmm. For when I'm weak, I sense more deeply the mighty power of Christ living in me. Not when I'm strong, I sense Christ. Not when it's perfect, I sense Christ. Not when everybody's healthy, I sense Christ. In my weakness. So it says right here, we can celebrate our weaknesses, that that is actually humility. It's okay to yeah. admit yeah. your weaknesses, yeah. people. Yeah. It's okay to be worried right now, to be like a little nervous when you let your kid go outside to play with the neighbor kid. That's okay. It's okay to use like so much hand sanitizer that your food starts to taste like hand sanitizer. And you all know what I'm talking about. You rub your eye 
and it burns and it's on fire and you're like, what? Oh my, right? Too much hand, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay to do that right now. I think of his power, I think of God's power that it says in 2 Corinthians that he wants to release. His power, it works and it's looking for our weaknesses like water trying to find its way through rock. It's looking for that, that crack, that fault, that space. His power is looking for those cracks and faults and spaces so that it can work through us. And it's his power, which is the same power that raised Christ from the dead, amen, mm -hmm. that finds its full expression mm -hmm. in our weakness. Mm -hmm. Joshua 1.9 says, This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord God is with you wherever you go. I feel like God's saying this to somebody who is afraid. And he's saying, wait, let me address that. Mm -hmm. He's saying this to somebody who is discouraged. He's saying, wait, let me, let me help you. Listen, the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Wherever you go, wherever you are right now, God is with you. In your fear, mm -hmm. in your anxiety, he's with you. In your doubt of what's gonna happen, of what's gonna happen next in those thoughts, mm -hmm. he's with you. Mm -hmm. He's faithful. At the doctor, if you're in a hospital right now, God is with you. Mm -hmm. In your living room, in your office, in your car, in your bedroom, wherever you're listening or watching this right now, God is mm -hmm with you in your weakness in your lowest point god is with you just like he's there on the best of days god is with you he's faithful mm -hmm. he's merciful and compassionate he loves you and he is with you wherever you go and we just want you to know that we do we truly love you guys we're praying not just for our nation not just for this church mm -hmm. but we're praying that as we speak mm -hmm. yeah. that the voice behind our voice Absolutely. is just ministering yes. to wherever yes. you're at. We don't know yeah. where you're at in all yeah. this. This may not be a big deal to you. Mm -hmm. You may be posting some funny memes mm -hmm. and life is good and you're just waiting for it to blow over. You may be like super in faith and everything's great. Mm -hmm. You may be at the lowest point and you're worried and you're nervous and you're freaking out. You may have like self-quarantined yourself for the next, you know, mm -hmm. eight weeks. God mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. He's with you and we love you and we're praying for you. Yeah, just know that we are praying for you to just really experience him in a new way that you've never experienced him before. We're, we're praying for you every day because mm -hmm. we love you and, and we know that God's gonna be doing that for you too. Yeah, thank you guys. Mm -hmm.